The Ground Up Dance Festival is Kingston's only professional dance festival, now in its third year this summer, and offers shows, movement workshops, and opportunities for artists to get involved. Joining me to tell us more about it are festival manager Laura Chagnon and dancer Shanique Pert. Hi. Hi. So let's start off with talking about the festival. So started three years ago. How did it get started? It got started uh, because our wonderful festival director, founder Kate Kenny, you know, dreamed this up. Uh, she's brilliant. She is the director of the Kingston School of Dance as well. And she just gathered all of her community, her friends, mm -hmm. including uh, Camille Spencer, who's the uh, festival producer mm -hmm. this year. And she just had this dream of dancing in front of Lake Ontario. That's how we get started. So that's where it takes place, right? The location yes. Most is of it, yes. most of it. Okay. Yeah, we, we grew to have more events around it, but what we call our main stage, which is our main performance, is right in front of the lake. Yeah. Oh, so it's down beautiful. at the bottom at yes. Lake Ontario Park, there's a nice platform there by so people can just have a seat on the hill yeah. yes. and watch the show. It's beautiful, it's chill, you know, bring food, bring snacks, bring blankets and everyone just kind of chills on the hill and watches the night of art and dance and just people pouring their hearts out. So maybe let's take a step back. So this starts July 8th mm -hmm. and it goes until July 13th. 13th and 13th is that main big event, the yes. show at Lake Ontario Park. 12th and 13th in the evening at 7, big show. Mm -hmm. It's just the same show on the Friday and on the Saturday. Okay and do people need to purchase tickets for that? They do. They do, okay. Yes. So where can they go purchase tickets? On our website, groundupfestival.ca. Uh, okay. They'll find everything they need. And how much are tickets? So we offer different prices depending oh, on what people want to pay, can pay, uh, what it feels right. So there's a few options for people to choose from and we have um, special prices for children, of course, and family passes. So there's a little bit for everybody. So really all about making it accessible for anyone who wants to come and experience that dance in a really beautiful setting. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And what time does that show take place again? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be nice sunset time by the water, see a show. Oh, exactly. But that's just one of a number of events, right? Yes. So yes. Laura, we were chatting, you're not dancing because it's going to keep you very busy the whole week of events, right? So what's going on all week? So much is going on. We are so blessed and excited this year because we're actually bringing absolute dance icon Peggy Baker to mm -hmm. Kingston, yeah. which is a huge deal. Yeah. So we're excited for people to get to see. She's um, actually doing her show on board at the Grand, Fest, the, the Grand Theatre. Okay. But she's also um, doing a really intimate 20 people workshop. Okay. So people can p participate in a dance workshop with Peggy Baker and just be in like a small group with her and learn from her. So that's yeah. really exciting. Wonderful. And then Shanique, you're, you are dancing in the yes, festival, I am. right? So are you du I, a duet? Yes. So I am bringing one of my closest friends on. She is a Toronto based artist. Her name is Chanel Williams. Mm -hmm. um, and we are presenting a piece we've been working on since 2020, actually. It's called Adaptations. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a performance piece slash dance film that we have been kind of curating the last couple years. Um, but it's just about you know, BIPOC individuals and their journey within the art scene and the importance of finding community, finding your tribe and, mm -hmm. you know, the different stages uh, that you go through when right. you when you're on that journey embarking. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Okay. And is that part of the big show or is that a separate event? That's yes. So that show. is a part of the big show. Um, we are among some other amazing, talented artists and we're just so honored to, to just be a part of it and be presenting our piece amongst these people as well. So you're in the home stretch now. Yeah. How long does planning for this event take? <laughs> Usually <laughs> you last. Yeah. Well, we already applied for grants for next year. So oh, that's how wow. long it yeah. takes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so, um, so both local and artists from... Yeah, mm -hmm. we have both local artists, which we think is really important for us to feature. So that's most of the dancers are local dancers. And then we mm -hmm. have featuring talent like Peggy Baker, of course, but we also have a duet coming from Montreal okay. that are performing in the big show. It's Adele Ross and Joshua Yates. Mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, Zara Badua, who is actually uh, an artist from Toronto, a dancer mm -hmm. from Toronto, who's leading. We have a community flash mob program as oh. well. There's so much going on. So, <laughs> so tell me about the community flash mob. Yeah. Can anyone be involved in that or how's that Anyone working? can be involved. Oh, if they okay. want to dance, they should join us. 
Oh. So <laughs> it's just an opportunity for people to learn from a, a professional dancer and just to dance as a community and meet people like that. Mm -hmm. We started it on Zoom because Zara is based in Toronto, right. um, but she's going to come the week of the festival and we're going to have some in-person rehearsals and then uh, we're going to do a few flash mob performances downtown Kingston okay. and then uh, right before the big performances at the park. And mm. any age limits on that or anyone? I think we said like 9 to 99 nine to 99 or something. <laughs> nine yeah. to 99, okay. But even under 9, you know, if your parent is <laughs> there, <laughs> dancing, so you if can people want to be involved in the flash mob, what should they do? You know it, roundupdancefestival.ca. Go there for all the information. Go there, yeah. email us. We're gonna make it work. We Don't be scared to join now either because we have tutorial like videos yes. Yes. for you to catch up. Uh -huh. okay. What did I miss at the previous rehearsals? It's all in there, you can mm. learn at home. Okay, so it's not too late. We're about two weeks out. If you want to be part of the festival as the flash mob, check it out, catch up, join the live rehearsals. But if perhaps you're not the flash mob type, you could go and take part in any events taking part starting from July 8th, Grand Theater yeah. and other locations mm -hmm. throughout Kingston, yeah. right? Yeah, um, for people who aren't dancers and just maybe want to try a dance class, we offer really affordable dance classes. Uh, we have three morning classes during the festival. Okay. They're $10. It's an hour and a half mm -hmm. okay. uh, with uh, festival dancers. So Zara's teaching one on the Friday morning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lauren Runyon's contemporary dancer is teaching one on the Tuesday. And on the Monday, we have a yoga dance fusion oh. with Melissa Prince. Cool. And they're all open level classes. Yes. So you don't need to be advanced to come. It's Afro-Caribbean, yoga, contemporary. So we have a mix of everything. That's you just want to like come and try it out or if you've been missing the style and want to try something new again. Yeah, yeah. so either like keep going with what you're doing or try something outside your comfort zone, try yeah. something new. So sounds like something going on every day, yes. something for everyone. And you can get tickets at groundupfestival.ca. Groundupdancefestival.ca. Groundupdancefestival.ca. Yes. Yes. Grab your tickets, sliding scale pricing. So really all about bringing that dance to everyone in the community yeah. and bringing the community together through dance, right? I think one thing as well that Kay does so well, not just within the festival, but also with the Kingston School of Dance, it's very much, if you want to come dance, come. Yeah. You know, it's so built on community and just making it accessible to everyone. And I think that's also what the festival is about as well. Lots of events happening all week long. Go check it out July 8th to July 13th. And thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you for of having course. us. Thanks. Also want to send a lot of love to festival director Kay, yes. who can't be here today because she just had a baby. Yay. So everybody <laughs> send your love to Kay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>